This funnel cloud dropped out of a storm just east of Aurora Reservoir Monday afternoon. It took some weather ingredients coming together at just the right time and place to happen. The first and most complicated factor is called horizontal surface vorticity. That means a parcel of air either right at or very near to the surface was spinning horizontal in relation to the ground, usually caused by wind shear. Just to understand how you get the horizontal vorticity, you know, just take a pen or pencil and move one hand forward. What's your pencil doing? National Weather Service meteorologist Chad Gimistad says your hands represent the wind shear and the pencil is the tube of air that is now spinning. Next, a thunderstorm flared up at just the right time above that spinning air and stretched it into a vertical column, focusing the air and increasing the speed of rotation. Now condensation is occurring in that vertical column of air, revealing the funnel cloud. This display was very public because it was close to the metro and very high in the sky. So that funnel cloud was between maybe five and 10,000 feet off the ground. So, I mean, if you think about how far a mile is, I mean, a mile up in the sky is actually pretty far. Which means everybody in the metro that reported a funnel was looking at the very same tube. Reports from Watkins, my location in Northeast Aurora, East Aurora, Southlands, Parker, and Elizabeth, all amazed by this one high-based funnel cloud that ended in a rope out, which is when the air below the storm returns to the horizontal and the funnel collapses. Meteorologist Corey Reppenhagen, 9 News.